Hi guys, Mr. Fijio here. Today we're going to talk about decoral veins tenosynovitis. And I'm sure I can make an expert in this symptom with this video. So please watch till the end. And as always, let's have a look at the structure first. Decoral veins tenosynovitis is an inflammation on the sheath of tendons that's attached on thumbs. There are two muscles normally involved in this symptom and it is very important to understand their functions. First one is abductor pollicis longus. So it starts from the middle of the forearm here, or outer side of the forearm, and go diagonally across the wrist and attach at the bottom of your wrist. So when it contracts, that will bring your thumb out to the side, away from the hand. And the other one is extensor pollicis brevis, which has a similar course. So it starts from here and attaches to the bottom of your thumb. So when this muscle contracts, that will pull the thumb backwards this way, like that way, okay? If you combine those two movements together, thumb out to the side and backwards, please subscribe. So it's a thumb up position, right? But do we do that much? Not really. We normally keep our thumb inwards that way. So when you use your computer, or clicking mouse, or using smartphone like this. Which means these muscles are always being stretched out. You can test yourself with two fingers. The one here, the other one there. And if you bring your thumb inwards, does the distance between these two fingers widen or shorten? Of course, it gets wider. So it's always being stretched out. If you keep using that muscle from that stretched position, these muscles are likely to get tensed up tight. So once these muscles get tight, they will pull the tendon away from the bone. Tendons attach your muscles to bones. I think my old subscribers already know what's coming. Tendons don't like compression and stretching. Tendons act as a spring and they always want to go back to its original length. But if you pro prolong stretch on them, they tend to lose their elasticity and become tight. Plus, Again, it's near the protruding bone. And tendon problems normally occur around the bony areas. And what's worse is that there's a thick band covering your wrist and those tendons go under the band. So if it is dumbbell is the bone and this is the retinaculum and your tendon goes under there. So your tendon normally just relaxed like this, right? But your tendon is being stretched out because your muscle is pulling it away from the bone. So that will touch the tendon and if you keep using that muscle contracting, 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 so moving up and down, up and down and creates a lot of friction and then inflamed. <laughs> and this is pretty much similar to how you develop tendonitis which I've covered a lot in this channel but it's not exactly the tendon issue. It's a thin layer that wraps up the tendon and it's supposed to lubricate and prevent the frictions we just talked about. But if there is too much friction, it can get inflamed and sore. Another thing about the tenosynovitis is that it is a symptom that many moms develop after giving a birth. Why is that? First of all, there is this hormone called relaxin. It is a pregnancy hormone that allows muscles and ligaments to loosen up for the birth. You have numerous ligaments in your pelvic area that needs to be stretched out during pregnancy and delivery. But this hormone can affect the whole body and it can last up to 5 months after giving a birth. So let's think about it. Your ligament's main function is to hold your bones tight. But if it's loosened, then what do you think has to work more instead? Muscles. Your muscles have to work more to support your bones. However, your muscles can also get affected and you don't really use much of your muscles during pregnancy because your other half does most of the works, right? Not your husband. Do some works, dude. Then you start using your muscles a lot after birth because you need to hold your baby all the time. So suddenly your activity level increases a lot, which means your muscles can get overworked and tight. That's why it's called mother's thumb. So what's the best treatment option for this symptom? In fact, the best evidence suggests a combination of injections and a brace. 
According to this study, you wear a brace for four to six weeks while having injections. But I'm not a big fan of injections, and in my experience, you know, many people find it uncomfortable wearing brace all the time for four to six weeks. So the the compliance rate is really low. So I will show you what I do. So you shouldn't do massage and stretching on the painful tendons. You massage here. Don't do that. Stretching like that or that way. Not good. Because it has started from the compression and stretching. So you don't want to add more to already sore tendon. Instead, we're going to do massage and lengthening exercises. Okay, so we're going to work on three parts. The first one is here. That's the actual problematic muscles attached, right? If this is the middle of the forearm, so a little bit down around there. So maybe five to seven centimeters away from the elbow, sorry, wrist. So you can actually move your thumb a little bit in and out or just out like a backwards back and forth so that you can actually feel these muscles activating when you move your thumbs or another way to find them is you press down onto the muscle and try to bring your thumb in normally this movement is painful right but if you press down onto the right muscles these movements can be pain free because when you hold on to the muscle this muscle will get a little bit relaxed and that will reduce the tension on the tendon so it doesn't really pull the tendon anymore so when you do that that will stretch out the tendon that's why it gets painful but if you press down onto the muscle the tension on the tendon goes down that's why it doesn't get sore so once you have found them you try to massage for about 30 seconds yeah side to side that's better now hold so press down and just side to side like that and then you hold on to the muscle and slowly move your thumb in and out like that within the pain-free range and then back and forth as well and then you need to loosen up these parts between your thumb and index finger, there's a muscle attached here that brings your thumb inwards. So I told you if your thumb goes in, this will put a stretch on that inflamed area, right? So we want to loosen up these muscles so that it doesn't really pull your thumb in anymore. Yeah, you can massage like that. So all through there and at the back, you're kind of pinching that muscle. Pinching and pulling, pinching, pulling, pinching, pulling, pinching, pulling. And you pinch down on the muscle and go side to side as well. If there's a pain on the other side here, just a small movement maybe. Or just, just massage only. That's it. The last one is a pronator muscle. So pronation is this movement. And the muscle starts from here to there so if it contracts let's actually bring your forearm inwards so if your forearm rotates inwards you're likely to bring your thumb in too so when your shoulder rotates inwards your whole arm rotates inwards can you see my thumb goes in like that and if your forearm rotates inwards your thumb goes in too so we are gonna loosen up this pronator as well Actually, there is another pronator around your wrist, but this is the pronator that actually uh, affects your forearm pronation most. So we're gonna loosen up here. So about five centimeters towards the thumb and press down and go side to side like that. We go across like that for about 30 seconds. And again, press down onto the muscle and you can actually rotate your arm like that you can use this kind of tool um, I shouldn't say tool because it's highlighter so about five centimeter away from the elbow just massage like that getting an injection you can push down and just side to side this is great and here you can use the tool as well and press down and massage
and this part also and massage and inside here all the way around there and here as well and that's done after massage we're gonna do some lengthening exercises okay again the principle is the same as tendon rehab your pain level should be below 4 out of 10 and you need to build up slowly you can use your own finger the other hand all right so thumb up position you're going to push down while reducing through the thumb so thumb up position your muscles activated shortened from there I'm pushing it down with my other hand so that this muscle will get a little bit stretched out while controlling that stretching force you can use your palm as well yeah just thumb back and push down again three four out of ten pain is okay but beyond that you don't want to do these exercises you just hold it hold it like that so give it a bit of resistance and hold it for even five seconds ten seconds 15 20 up to 45 seconds you slowly build up and once you can do the holding exercises maybe five times a day without any pain you can actually slowly push down uh, and then start that eccentric exercises and also you need to do lengthen up this muscle too this muscle brings your thumb inwards right your muscle shortens and lengthens the other way so we'll start with that muscle in a shortened position first and then as you push in and try to pull back with the other hand okay so push in and pull back 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 so when you do these exercises your normal pain area shouldn't be painful um, two three out of ten pain is okay but more than that or any lasting pain is not good okay so your pain should stop when you stop the movement so even though you stop the movement or stop the exercises or massage the pain lasts for you know a few minutes or you know 10 minutes 20 minutes that's not good that means you've irritated the inflamed tendon so you don't want to continue doing that same exercises or just re reduce that range okay so if you bring your thumb too far out like that if you feel the pain just stop about there before you feel the pain so that's the exercise for that muscle and the last one is for the pronator so pronator muscle shortens when your thumb rotates inwards and when your forearm goes the other side your muscle will be lengthened right so you hold the weight very small weight or just water bottle 500k and just put your forearm onto a table and just rotate your forearm out to the side so that your palm facing up so when you come back you have to help with the other hand and go down slowly and come back up so this is actually good for golfer's elbow as well i'm gonna make another video about golfer's elbow which will include this exercise and come back up and you can try something like this because your shoulder sits forward and that affects your forearm rotated inwards and thumb as well just rotate your arm out to the side like that so don't bring your arm backwards just rotation and as you rotate you bring your chest forward And squeeze between your shoulder blades as you rotate your arms out you try to breathe into your chest expand your chest as much as you can and as you come back breathe out okay breathe in now when you do that if you can tuck your chin in and push your whole head backwards that'll be fantastic as you push your head back with your chin in, 
you can activate more of that spinal muscles attached between your shoulder blades and even upper um, neck area as well so it's better but if you feel pain around your neck probably you need to stick to that arm movement only actually this symptom is very painful and easily gets irritated and it's very important not to aggravate your symptoms right so i'm going to show you how to make a brace using a straw so this is how it's done starting from the base of your thumb and goes all the way down now this straw is a bit hard so there's a little bit of gap here but you should use like a softer one so that it can kind of lay down along that muscle and tendon so it can give you a bit of more freedom compared to the wrist brace this might help with the pain but it doesn't really you know fix the problem so give it a go and if it's effective you just use it but the long-term solution is the massage and the lengthening exercises so that's it your thumb pain is also similar to tendon problems so we should take a similar approach as we do for the tendon rehab uh, massage the actual muscle and don't touch on the actual pain area don't touch on the tendon don't compress don't stretch of course it is an overuse injury but compression and stretching play a role definitely so we can't do anything with the hormone but we can do something with that stretching and compression component we need to loosen up your muscles and lengthen up at the same time and just work on the actual root cause of that pain but the most important thing is not to aggravate your symptoms so try to avoid anything that gives you pain around that area and just try that brace and let me know how you feel thank you very much i'll see you next time